The Kern County Rangers may be a small department, but they play a large role in keeping people safe. These officers are facing the everyday challenges of being on patrol while also trying to make the most of their limited resources. You know, people bring all the same dramas from their homes out to the park. On this June Saturday, Sergeant Jesse Esposito is patrolling Hart Park. This place is usually pretty packed. He's on the lookout for anything that doesn't seem right. Control and Rangers, Sam 3 traffic stop. Instead of a long list of service calls, the Kern County Rangers focus on proactive policing in hopes of stopping a small problem before it turns into something bigger. After driving through Hart Park, he's off to check out Heritage Park in East Bakersfield, driving to known trouble spots to see what he can find. This is kind of an area that somewhat concealed. People feel like they can come in and, uh, you know, damage the park, do all that kind of stuff. Not finding much, he decides to go back up other rangers who spotted four men drinking alcohol at a park on Virginia Avenue. Sergeant Esposito says alcohol is a common factor in many of the problems they run into. These guys are hanging out. I mean, really, no big deal. They just got some alcohol, you know. But again, this gives us a chance to run their names, find out if they have any warrants or any kind of probation terms, anything like that. One of the men had an active misdemeanor warrant, so they cited him. Back on patrol, Sergeant Esposito says he never knows what he's going to run into. On this particular day, he counseled a man dealing with mental illness sitting in his truck. Is there somebody, you know, you'd like to talk to or anything like that? Or? Then helped out on a traffic stop. He stays he on probation for anything like that? Then another. Hey, sir, the reason why I pulled you over, you got no front license plate. That stop go, ending go, go, in a go, DUI go, go, arrest. Go, 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 go. All of this policing accomplished with a limited staff. The Kern County Rangers, just like the Sheriff's Office and County Fire, are dealing with budget issues, trying to make the most out of what they have. We're catching people right in the middle of something, and we could be catching them right in the middle of the worst day of their life, or we might be catching them right in the middle of doing something they shouldn't be doing. When fully staffed, they have up to 12 full-time Rangers. Right now, they have five, including the chief, to cover more than 100 parks, campgrounds, and public buildings spread across the county. In an ideal world, we have we would have a lot of openings and a lot of uh, full-time spots. Officer safety is a top priority, so the Rangers schedule most of their officers on the same shift to ensure they have backup in time. Another challenge they face is lack of name recognition in the community because many don't know the Rangers exist. Doing a simple weapon search on someone is perfectly reasonable as, as a police officer stopping someone, but someone wants to challenge your authority, you know, they may not let you do that. Despite the challenges the Rangers face out on patrol, they know they play an important role in keeping people safe during what's expected to be a very busy summer. Whatever the situation is, we just have to be diligent and just deal with situations as, as it unfolds. If you and your family are planning on heading out to some of the county parks this summer, the Rangers say it's important to be aware of your surroundings and be sure to keep an eye on your kids when they're in the water or in the park. They also ask if you see something illegal or dangerous happening, be sure to report it. And the Rangers don't just work on land. They also patrol our local lakes. Coming up this Wednesday, we take an in-depth look at what they're doing to make sure visitors are safe on the water. Again, that's this Wednesday on 23 ABC News at 6. Back